What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nick and Zalana Landscape. It's day two of our irrigation project. We got Nick coming with us today. He was off today. He had some stuff he had to take care of. So uh, we'll see what we get into today. I'm not even really sure where we're going to go. I think we're going to start by pulling some pipe and try to get that main in there. So uh, we'll see what we get whenever we get over there. Let's go. All right guys, so we made really good progress this morning. We've got all of our main power ran. We've got it into the house. Uh, we've got an electrician coming to tie it into the box. And then we've got it in the shed where our controls are gonna be. So we've got all of our wire ran, except what needs to be ran with the main. And we're getting ready to run our main pipe. And I wanted to pull out the camera, show you guys exactly what we got going on. And I'll show you all the wiring stuff and where we're at the house and all that good stuff later. But we're finally ready to run the main pipe. So I wanted to turn this thing on so you guys can see exactly how it's done.
get to that other box. Get to that What's other the home? best way to set this thing? Like oh. with a reel. Like this, and then just kind of. You just got a hand. It's a hand. Yeah. Okay. Even if you pull, you know, I mean, roll it back and then pull it back far and have it here. I was just doing it like this. Pull it like this, let it roll, and then you kind of bring it back. Right, guys so real quick while Jake's pulling the machine around I want to try to get you guys caught up um, Nick is getting this next main ready and getting the uh, wires for the solenoids on taped on there so we can get that all in the uh, Chinese finger there so we'll get that and we've got this main pulled and it goes over that way and then we've got uh, we're gonna have two boxes over there and then we had a spot there where we had to cross the electric you guys saw that and then we've got another main that is going to be going that way up to the front yard where he's coming from. Uh, pretty much straight towards his truck. So we're going to be running out of the lake to the pump straight up there. And then we've got one going over that way. So this is the first thing. And then uh, Jake said that, it's, that everyone runs their uh, wire with your pipe, which I don't know how else you would do it. But you run your wire with your pipe. So whenever you get to your destination, you've got your wire there to tie in all your solenoids and all that, and then it's got all your all your colors of your wire in there. We'll talk about that stuff later. But basically, uh, you got to get your main pipe and your wire to each of your boxes, and then you got to have all your wire coming to the building. Which we've got uh, this 220 right here on, under my foot. That's going up in this corner, and then we've got another 220. This is what comes from the house right here. This is going to be going up in this corner, so and all that's going to be going into the box. We're going to make a nice little area in there. So um, we got two uh, two two twenties, one going in, one coming out, pretty much, and it's going to go over to the plug over here by the pump. And then on this side, we're going to have to dig in the trench in this wire, which controls all the solenoids. That is going into the uh, into the shed right there. So. You got three wires going in all together and then over here we're gonna I forgot to mention this um, this solenoid wire so we're gonna pull it with the main and then once we get it all in and then once we get our length we're gonna pull that solenoid wire out up to right here and then we're gonna run it into the building with that two point. So we pretty much have uh, two power wires, one going in, one going out, and two control wires, one going in, one going out, and then you've got our main. So um, Really not, not too difficult once you get into it, but uh, it does take a little know-how and it takes a lot of finagling trying to figure this out. So, here we go.
over a little bit to start. Day two is not going as smoothly as uh, as we would have hoped and it's not going as smoothly as day one and day one took longer than it was supposed to. So it's about uh, how this project's going so far but we've just ran into a lot of issues and we have so many things we have to worry about here. We've got to cross multiple sidewalks, uh, we've got to go under a fence, we have to cross tons and tons of electric lines. So. Uh, it's just one of those and we found a couple of private electric lines which luckily we found them but they weren't marked and we found two of them uh, just doing some looking before we started digging or before we started knifing in any pipes so uh, it's been uh, it's been a handful I guess we'll, we'll put it that or we'll leave it at that uh, but we're pulling pipe now it's about five o'clock and we're gonna be working till dark
Al 20 deep, so we have a clear on that. What? Pretty much just makes like a little speed bump in the yard. And that'll settle obviously after it rains and sure we'll run the machine over it. So pretty much off the road and we just ran that whole line up here. You can see where it was. So we still had a lot of tension. Alright guys, day two is complete. We didn't get quite as much done as we would have liked to, but it is what it is. Like I mentioned multiple times, so lots of times we're learning. So bear with us. Be patient. If you see something that we're doing wrong or that we can do that's going to save us a lot of time, please leave that down in the comments below. Whatever you can do is going to help. We need all the help we can get. Uh, but we're moving. We're moving steady. It's just, uh, it's just slow. It is time consuming and you got to make sure you do this stuff right or you're going to cause yourself a big headache down the road. So we're just really thinking this through, making sure we do things right and trying not to screw up. But again, we are rookies. So if you see anything, leave it down in those comments. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. You can also check us out on Instagram and you can follow us on Facebook. So if you're not doing those, head over there and check us out. But that's it for this one, guys. I'm ready to head home, take a shower, get some food, and uh, try to think up exactly how we're going to do this tomorrow. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. I'll see you in the next one.